hi folks here's the garden from downstairs and my expansion plan has finally taken shape the video that I lost I managed to recover a fair amount so here's what I'm going to be doing taking these verticals that was actually sitting on this over here was taking up a lot of space so I have dismantled that whole thing and I want to integrate that into the uh, grow bed so what I'm planning to do is over here uh, you know place um, two 300 liter uh, tanks these are the loft tank that I'm going to be using and place and I'm going to be using uh, two of these loft tanks that's going to comfortably sit and uh, the verticals I'm going to use in that corner and suspend it from the frame on top that's going to kind of give it a visual uh, barrier and uh, this is uh, now going to be a fully functioning uh, 1000 liter system to start with uh, clearing up a whole lot of space and I'm using this uh, concrete blocks to raise the grow bed and this time the grow bed is slightly lower compared to the existing grow bed uh, because I'll be using a siphon from the side of the grow bed and I have sufficient space from the sump tank to the side of the bottom of the grow bed uh, to you know play with this uh, plumbing so uh, first thing to do was to uh, get the placement right of all the uh, concrete blocks because this is what is going to be the main support once this is placed you can't really move things around uh, i'm going to be using a one and a half inch by four inch uh, wooden uh, slats that is going to be acting like a uh, support this will prevent the grow bits from sagging in the bottom so these both these 300 liter tanks fit completely uh, comfortably there in this space now to brace the sides i'm using a wooden uh, one inch by uh, two inch kind of a wooden uh, frame and this uh, this is going to prevent the grow bed from uh, sagging from all sides because it's going to be loaded with uh, gravel and that's going to be really heavy i'm also using a lot of uh, uh, pine wood to, to uh, you know cover the sides i'd like to have a really good looking system that also also works so uh, i don't want the plastic kind of tank sitting in my garden so I'm using this one inch uh, sorry one centimeter by uh, close to two feet kind of and four inch uh, wide six inch wide so these uh, wooden uh, slats will help the sides look really nice and once the entire framing is done and this also goes well with the uh, other grow with the quality there uh, now doing all of this uh, was kind of tricky on a single handedly but somehow I managed to get the whole thing done uh, to secure the entire uh, frame with the second set of screws for the top uh, frame I had uh, no space so I had to add this uh, 1 inch by 3 inch by 6 inch uh, wooden uh, blocks on top of the uh, cladding because this is where the top frame is going to rest I am using the similar kind of uh, wood for the top except it's about uh, 3 inch uh, wide and cut them to shape and frame uh, and uh, you know the top is completely framed now so this uh, this is how now the grow bed uh, looks once it's completely finished and uh, I'd like this to kind of gel well with the other uh, grow bed as well once the woodworking is finished uh, now we need to get into the plumbing bit so to get the drains from the side the first thing is to uh, remove uh, two of these uh, wooden uh, slats and uh, figure out exactly the location where you want to put the siphon and cut out a 19mm hole and uh, use a regular file to clear the edges off and repeat the same process for the other grow bed as well. So both these are going to be interconnected and therefore uh, it has to be in the same location. Now for the inside I'm using an FTA and 19mm pipe that's going to uh, go vertical with an L, uh, elbow attached. The, uh, the guard and the bell siphon itself will have a small cut that will be uh, you know, made to make sure it comfortably sits around the uh, L and the upright. So once this is complete, I have moved on to uh, the water for the inflow. And the inflow uh, is again the same 19mm pipe I'm using. 
uh, once both the uh, plumbing is complete I started doing a water test at dry run and the initial water test revealed no leaks and was uh, comfortable to go with uh, setting up the remaining and this is where I actually lost a lot of video and I was not able to shoot what happened after this uh, but uh, a few months later I managed to recover all the videos but lost the last bit uh, but this is how the system looks now uh, once uh, plants are really growing and it goes really well with the other system as well all three grow bits are working uh, really well so this is my final expanded system uh, if you guys have any suggestions or comments pop them below and i'll get back to you as and when i can thanks for watching